G'day folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a video about the screen door on the Tommy Camper. We're going to cover pretty much everything about it. Fitting it, taking it off, what it's made out of, what the zips look like, um, how effective it is, how easy it is to put it on, pull it off. And we'll show you how to put it on, pull it off. And how much it costs. Um, is it worth it? So that's what this video is about. The screen door on the camper. Well the crickets were so loud that I gave up and uh, I thought I'd do a bit of audio when I got home back to the studio. As you can see here I'm just pulling the door off. It's as simple as I do the zip up so the zip's completely done up and each corner there's a little tag. I just grab the tag and pull it out and it just falls off. It really is that easy. Putting it on is just a little bit harder. You've got to stretch that bungee cord out. I'll start at the top. It can go on either way. If you turn it upside down and do it the other way, the zip just opens from one side and not the other side. So I've put the top, top two on and that third one went on easy. The fourth one, you just pull it out a little bit harder than the rest. It slips in behind the, the track of the, the canopy door and that's it. Brings us to the end of the day. We've been out all day. We've been at Balloomba Falls. Excellent place and that'll come up in the next video. Back to the door. This fly screen you can put on either way. You can have it so it opens in and tucks in that side or the way we had a look at when I was uh, showing you this morning. With it this way the door will close but as you can see there are two seals. There's a seal around the canopy door uh, around the canopy frame and then there's a seal around the door so the two seals rub together and that gives the door an incredibly good seal so no dust will get inside your camper leaving the screen door on you put a nylon fabric between the two seals all the way around you've also got the zips that will touch and push against the seals it'll take no time flat to cause damage to the seals or possibly to the the actual fly screen so I don't even though it will shut with with it on this way I don't shut it this way because it just I just don't want to do damage to the seals quite often on products like this you get a zip that's not not quite up to standards well the crickets beat me um, <laughs> they were just too loud so I've cut this audio out and I'll do a bit of audio over for the next little bit as you can see the zip, I want to talk about the zips. The zips are very, very good quality zip. It's like a plastic coating over the, the steel and um, it slides very easy. It's quite a big tooth. So uh, it goes together and comes apart easy. It doesn't get caught up. And uh, yeah, certainly have no trouble at all moving that zip around. There's two tags for the zips on either side. So inside and outside. So you can zip it from the bottom to the top or vice versa. And it has a really good weather dust seal that uh, that sits over top of the zip on the outside. So very happy with the zip. That moves us on to the the cord that runs around the outside of the fly screen. Now it's a bungee cord. It basically, you, you, when you first get this, it's relaxed. So you've got to pull it tight and it, it, it gathers all the way around. And you can see that it sits inside the track here on the, uh, the cabin door. So that track goes all the way around and the uh, the bungee cord just sits inside that track. And the zip then sits just outside that sealed area. Once you've done that bungee cord up, tied it off, you never have to do that again. It just stays the same. Good little strap there for the bungee cord just to give it a, a hoik to get that gathered in the first place. You can see there it's gathered quite nicely all the way around. It's got the tags on the outside on each corner as well to, to help you with pulling the corners over the corner of the canopy door. So to get a completely bug free environment, the wing needs to be down on the driver's side, not so much on the passenger side. It's, it's fairly much sealed up with the kitchen, but the wing needs to be down on the, the driver's side and you need to have the fly screen up. You'll have a bug free sleeping quarters. The, the mesh is designed for Australian um, uh, use. And the reason I say that is we have the midges and the midges are such a tiny bug. And this mesh is a really fine mesh so it will keep the midges out. 
some midges, mozzies and flies, which is exactly what you'll want. And moths to some degree, I guess. And they're harmless, but if you've got a wife like mine, they're a little bit scary. Fly screen. It's an exceptional pet kit. At the end of the day, it keeps the bugs out of out of your living quarters, so it does exactly what it says it'll do. But it's $150. $150? I personally think that's good value, but I know in the comments down below there will be a lot of you that don't think that's very good value for what it is. All it is is one zip and fly screen with a little bit of bungee cord. The thing is, you could probably make it if you're that way inclined. Probably take you the best part of a half day to do it though, so it depends on how you value your time. Um, I personally think it's made to fit perfectly the Tommy Camper, and you could probably make it fit. Most can canopies or campers that have a door set up similar to this one. My biggest problem with it, and it's not really a problem, is I can't shut the door. It'd be just awesome to have a fly screen that you could leave up and not have to take down and put up every time. So what have we talked about? We talked about the price. Very easy install. Um, it's just as... The hardest part is when you first get it, the bungee cord isn't pulled up to where it needs to be it's just loose so you've really got to work the bungee cord and gather it so that it's it's really tight behind that door once you've done that and tie it off that's it it's every time you need it now it's it's ready to go so the first time you will muck around a little bit to get it up but after that it's sweet it's really easy that brings us to the end of another video thumbs up if you got something out of it hit the subscribe button and i'll catch you on the next video take care